Thanks, uh, thanks very much, and I, um, I certainly respect uh, the, the statement that uh, Helena doesn't believe there's anything wrong, and I'm sure that is the case. It was said at the time, I raised this at the time, but I would like to see a legal opinion on this, and that's why I'm putting, uh, I'm putting forward the, um, uh, the motion. Um, just in terms of the alternative, and I, I find it kind of difficult when it's, oh, this is always talked about in terms of we put out expressions of interest. It's a very, very narrow expression of interest if you're saying, here's a planning permission that the harbour company thought was a great idea that the council at the time did not have an input into in terms of the, it was the harbour company's plan. And then we looked for expressions of interest only on that. And it is since then I have been um, trying to say what the alternative is to this. And the alternative is in our county development plan. We all agreed it. We all agreed the future of the harbour should include um, a heritage centre, should include a national water sports centre. I'm not saying that these uh, necessarily preclude the other. But the alternative for the harbour is not just about uh, narrow economic interests. I think it's about economic interests, but it's also about, and it's always very, you know, that the reason we were going with this was because to deliver an economic return, to deliver services to the business sector and provide an economic impact for John Leary. There's also the heritage and the vision and the future. And that's what I'm talking about when I think there is an alternative. We've discussed this. So people saying, what is the alternative? We're not hearing the alternative. We've been discussing the alternative since 2016 in this chamber. It's been rehearsed over and over again. And I think it is just disingenuous of people to say that they don't hear what an alternative is. Um, so I hope people will support the motion. Thanks.